we are looking at 12 logos that you could be using for your Canva designs. The first one is Hey Gotcha. This is a very funky, spotty kind of a logo that you could be using with your designs. And this is an example of where we've used it on one of our logo designs when we got a cricket fan and a cricket channel that wanted to create a logo for their channel. And it is a thin kind of a font that is suitable for different kinds of designs. The next one is a code Pro Bold. This is a bold font that you could be using for designs that look like this, kind of big and fat and boldy kind of a font. And it is nice when you could see this particular logo that we've used on, it was bold and it worked so nicely when we were thinning the design out and when we were removing and overlapping the designs together. So it's quite a nice bold logo that you could be using for big bold designs that you are using on Canva. The next one is the break script. The break script is a handwritten kind of a logo that we've used for one of the designs as you see on the screen. It looks like somebody is writing and it looks like they're shaking. So you could think of different kinds of ways of using this font, but it's quite versatile. And if you like your handwritten fonts, you could use this font on your design. The next one we've used when we were designing a logo for food. As you can see, it looks like a foodie kind of a burger or a pizza. It's called At Nouveau Outline and it has spaces in between. So if you're converting it to a 3D, it comes out quite nicely with the gaps inside the fonts and it looks quite like a, a pizza or a food kind of a logo that you could be using on your designs. The next font is called Biddy Script. It's a script-like handwritten kind of a font that you could be using on your designs. We've used it on a fashion kind of a logo and it was elegant and that's why you see the models on there and it is sexy and elegant that merges with another font on your design. So try it and let me know on the comments below if you've tried some of these fonts that we're sharing. The next one is Lovello Line. I love the gaps on this font and you could be using it for a tech kind of a logo. We used it in a film logo that we've created prior. I like the lines of this font and you could use it for different kinds of designs that you could create. Have fun with this one and let me know how it turns out. The next one is a fun one that we've created for a crash or a preschool and it's called Chiwi font and it has different kinds of roundness and it's fun and it's funky and it is um, one of those very round fonts when you're looking for a design that has fun roundy kind of a shape the chewy font is quite fun that you could be using and the next one we've used when we were designing a tool shop logo it's called major mono display and it has all sorts of shapes the font really looks like a graphic on its own when you're wanting to create a, a graphic but you want to be using a font try this major mono display and it was quite fun to use it worked so nicely with the tool shop logo that we've created. The next one is Mr. Duffo. Mr. Duffo is a handwritten font. You would usually get requests from photographers and creators who would like you to create logos for them. And they would like you to create logos using a handwritten kind of a font. Mr. Dafu works quite nicely in those instances. As you see on here, the design is handwritten and it can go with whatever kind of a company that's looking for a handwritten font. Mr. Dafu is perfect for that. Next Next one we've used when we were creating greeny and garden kind of services. It's called open dyslexic font and it looks like a tree. It looks like a, 
a grass. It looks very greeny kind of uh, shapes font. So try it and have a look and see when you're designing logos for kind of green services and, you know, shape like, because that's what we use fonts for. We use our fonts to go in line with whatever logo that we are designing for our client. And we kind of find different kinds of fonts that goes hand in hand with the logo that you're designing. And the next one was a fun one for me because this was a techy techy kind of a, a logo that we created. It was a, a techno logo that we created. It's called Mokoto. And Mokoto has a basic one and a glitch kind of a font. So when you're creating your techie, it comes out nicely as you see on the screen when we were creating this tech logo. It was perfect for what we were creating. And the last one is my favorite purely because it's doing so well in my channel right now. As you see, this, this logo is doing very well in my channel and I'm getting a lot of views. The, the font's name that I used here is called Archive of Black and you make it big and you make it bold and then you can split it or when you're looking one of those dark fonts that are bold archival black is perfect for that i hope you enjoyed this tutorial comment below and let me know if i can create more videos that talk to fonts on canva to help you in your designing journey visit learnwithza.com and check out our course that we've created to help you design logos better. It is a Canva for logos design that we've created. I will see you on the next video.